Hello, my name is Fizzing Bob and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be looking at how to create an automatic sheep shearing farm to provide you with all the wool you will ever need. That's right, all the wool you will ever need. This farm is expandable and you can add more sheep pens to increase your production to provide you with all the wool colors that Minecraft can provide. So crack out those banners and those carpet designs to spruce up your base. So that's right, lean back and enjoy this video. After all, Minecraft soothes even the savage beast. Please leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of this video. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and help this channel grow. Okay, let's crack on with this then. Today is going to be slightly bit of a noisy episode. As you can see in the corner there, we have got some guests. Um... Hello, sheep. Right, okay, I'm going to need to crack on with this and get this started. Let's get some oak planks, shall we? There we go, Bob. Yeah, let's get some oak planks out. That's the one. Lay these down, right? So we're going to place them down here. We're just placing the blocks down to mark out where we're actually going to mount the observers. And I'll explain this as we go through. So along here, at the bottom here, is where we're going to have the item collection system. So what are you going to do, Bob, here now? What, Bob? Okay, he's going to get some redstone stuff, isn't he? So we get the observer and place the observer on top of the block. Now, he always gets this the wrong direction. Yeah, that's the wrong direction, Bob. That's it. Place it down in this way. So if the, what's happening here is the observer is facing towards the item collection system. There we go. You can see the little face there. there. Bob, yeah, there it is. So now what we're going to do is put down the chest where we're going to collect the items. This we need to dig a hole out, a little L shape, 3x2 there. That's it, yep, that's right, okay. And now what we're going to get is we're going to get a chest. Take the chest out and then we're going to throw that down. No, not the other side, but that's it, there we go, put that at that side. There we go. So now we've got that, okay, yeah, we need to put more. So it's a four by two then hole, isn't it, Bob? Right, get, grab a hop, grab hold of a hopper, place the hopper in behind the, to goes into the chest. You see, so that now items will then go into the chest. We're going to place the blocks around here. That will stop the ray, uh, the car, the mine cart from overrunning and off the system. Yep. So now we're going to put some rails down. So we've got some power rails and some normal rails. So we're going to place down the powered rail and okay we need some yeah we need some redstone torches to power the actual rail, power rails. So in this case we're just going to put a power rail on top of the hopper by pressing shift click and then we're just going to build these rails up. At this point here at the very end we're going to dig down two and stick a redstone torch down and use an oak planks on top and then we're going to place down the, the powered rail. Okay, Bob. We're going to, okay, what Bob's going to do now is actually replace all the grass with uh, oak planks, aren't you? There we go. Yeah, yeah. Pick up those rails. You're just going to leave them there, aren't you? Fair enough. Okay, so what he's trying to do now is work out where he's going to place the um, second powered rail. So we're going to stick it down here, another, basically halfway in between, I think the blocks, there's eight blocks. So he's trying to find the middle and what he's going to do is to keep it symmetrical, he'll place down two powered rails in a second. So yeah, that's okay, yeah. Well, he's going to put some rails down here, that's it, to join them up. And he's going, okay, right, so we're going to put a power rail here and here, and here and here, that's it, that's the one. And. Uh, there, so there you go. So now that it completes the actual rail system for the item collection. So what will happen here is that the mine carts with the hopper in will go back and forth um, forever and a day. But what we're going to do is when it's got some items actually inside the hopper, we want it to stop on the yeah on the actual hopper and filter all the items into the chest. Well, there we go, and it stopped like that. 
So the only way that pop, that, that minecart will actually move is if it's being powered. Right, so Bob, are you, what are you going to get? Oh, you're going to get stairs. So what now we're doing is placing some stairs above the chest. So this will allow us to access the chest um, and make it look a bit more pretty as well. Because Bob likes doing things that are pretty, don't you? There we go. Right, so what we're going to do now is a sec the redstone circuit to actually power the power rail. So what you can do, Bob? What you can get? You can go for a comparator. Grab that comparator. Down, down, down. No. Okay, redstone torch first. No, you don't want a gate. There we go. Comparator. Do you want that repeater? That's it. Right. So we're going to place down the comparator first. Oh, okay. Push that away. Comparator first. Then we need a plank block uh, above. We're going to place it above and next to. Comparator, so place one there, Bob. That's it. Then on that block, we need to put a redstone torch, and on top of the redstone torch, we need another block. In between the two blocks, there, we need a repeater, and as you can see, that pushes the minecart away, and off it goes. Right, what's next, Bob? Oh, you're going to prove, okay, so what we're going to do now is prove that this system works. So, I'm just going to throw some blocks down. No, no, yeah. No, no, that's it. The thing is, but yeah, if you throw it down there, it's just going to go into the, the hopper, isn't it, Bob? Right, okay, grab out the items from the hopper, that's it. And throw it in front of the minecart. There we go, throw it in front. Yeah, okay, so you, the minecart, as you saw there, grabbed hold of the items, and as you can see now, it's filtering it through the hopper into the, the, the chest. So that proves that. But, right, okay, what's next? Next, the grass, isn't it? So there's several ways we can do this. I mean, in creative mode, we could just use grass blocks, but we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna use is dirt blocks. I wanna show you how we can get the grass blocks using dirt. Um, so the dirt has to be touching grass so in order for the grass to grow along the dirt. So, and we need, what this, we need the grass. Um, blocks for the sheep to basically every time they eat the grass it changes to dirt and I, that then updates the observer which tells the dispenser which we're going to put in in a minute to yeah, there we go then make sure it is a dispenser to shear the sheep because we can put some shears in there so and that's how that, that this is going to work so every time that the block is um, changes from grass to dirt. It will the observer will update, fire the dispenser, and the sheep will get sheared. And then the shears will then be sucked back into the dispenser and be used later on. So okay, so what we've got now is the basics of the of the, of the design here, the very basics. So we've just got to add the redstone dust behind. That's it. Yeah, get jump behind. That's it. Place a bit block behind the observer, like so. And then what Bob's going to do now is place the redstone dust behind. So that's it. That's the dust. That's the. There we go. Behind the observer, the actual dispenser, like so. There we go. That's it. So that is the basic design. We also need to then. Think about how we're going to capture the the, the, um, the sheep, and we're going to use glass. Because we're just going to finish off the outside. That's it. Okay. Wait, what are you doing, Bob? Uh, you're just doing some, your own random thing here, aren't you? The people want to watch this. They want to watch the tutorial, and they want to know how to actually get make this quite a fun work. But you're too busy around doing the, getting it looking nice, but not being very successful. Okay, so yes, is it? We're now going to use the glass, and we're going to create the pens effectively that the sheep will be in. That's it. Go place the glass. That's it. Okay, so you can put that in first. Okay, fill these in. Yeah, when you're ready, Bob. Any time now. Okay, glass. That's it. Put the glass down. 
And this will basically be the place where we actually play the um, for the sheep. The, the sheep only need one block. Well, they can live in one block. Now, we're, gonna put, we're not going to put the glass down in the front position. Because, as you can see at the moment, we don't have the any grass on that position. Now, it should be able to grow underneath the grass, because the whole principle of this farm is that the glass, you know, that there will be one glass block underneath um, the glass, and that will then uh, allow the block in front, which is where the sheep is sitting, to grow more grass. So, right, I think Bob's indicated he's now in position, and all we've got to do is wait for the grass to grow. So, at this point, I think we're going to come back later uh, when yeah, when we have enough grass on there to complete the design. Okay, at last the grass is now complete and we're ready to place down the glass. Finish this off. Here we go. Okay, I get rid of that one first. You can put it back there. Right. Now we want to put glass. Bob. We want to put the glass down. Here we go. Yeah, glass. That's it. Put the glass down. I build up the surrounds again so that the sheep can't escape once they're trapped, well, once we place them in there, they're not going to be trapped. They're going to be penned in and they're going to be well fed and looked after. Okay, so yeah, do the backs as well. Build that up, yeah, the whole back. So what we're going to do is just going to show you the simple farm first and then we're going to expand on it. So at this stage for the simple farm, just fill this couple of the tops of the dispenser um, up and we're good to go to get that. So what we're now going to do is create access up to the pens in which we're going to play the game, in which the sheep will be still uh, placed in. So there's two ways we can do this. The first way is using wheat. So I'm going to use this wheat to entice them out of the pen and see if we can get one out. One, just the one. Just the one out. Okay, that's good. Right, you guys stay there at the moment. So what you do is, hang on Bob, get, that's it, put your wheat in the hand. Okay, come in, you coming with me? Come on, come on, there we go. Sheep are, yeah, just come on, follow, follow us. And then what you've got to do now is position the sheep just in front of the hole, right? They won't actually go in, so you're going to have to push, push them in. There we go. Get going. It, it. Oh, straight. This is a tricky bit. This can take forever. But you, eventually, you, like that, you do get them in. Whee! Bob's happy. Well, looks things right. So the next thing, I'll get rid of those. There is actually an easier way, um, and that's with a lead. Now, you can either make leads with um, slime blocks and string, or you could just make they get them off the wandering um, trader. Uh, well less said about them, the better. Right, come on then sheep, get crap hold. Oh, hang on, oh, oh, Bob, what are you doing? You let them all out. Okay, great. <laughs> Oops. I think you've got one too many there. I've well, got two too many at the moment. Okay, right, oh, so you can actually then lead the sheep up into the, oh. You didn't want that to happen, did you, Bob? You didn't want that to happen, did you? Okay, right, okay, Bob. What you need to do is, yeah, you need to get them out, so that's it. Break that block, drag that sheep out, try and keep the other sheep, uh, that's it, grab that block, so when you pull them out, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bob, what are you doing? Right, drag him, drag him in, that's it, come on, pull him off. You're not having any luck with this, are you, Bob? Right, Bob. We'll just leave Bob to do, do this at the moment. He's just having too much fun by the looks things. That's it. So, he's trying to pull, that's it. That sheet goes in quite nicely, so grab the lead. Now, you're gonna use the wheat again to, yeah, you're gonna use the wheat to try and show you how easy it is. So starting again to show you how easy, how difficult, the difficulty between sheet, the wheat and also the lead. Right, we're going to use a trapdoor here so that it stops us from falling, well, stops Bob 
from falling into the sheep pen. Oh, okay. <laughs> As you can see, Bob is not having much luck with, it, with these sheep. So he's got three sheep up here at the moment. He's going to try and push at least one of them in to that hole. And it is not easy using wheat. You can do it, you can do it, definitely. As you can see, he's just about... Can he just push, push, yay! That's it, now get that trap door on top of it. Okay, you want to push him off. You don't want to push him off, or it's going to have to drag him back up. Right now, forget the wheat, and just use the lead bob. There we go, now drag the sheep in. Now the idea behind the trap door is that um, we can still have access to the sheep whilst they're in there without breaking so another block like a glass block or something. So it's gonna come on, drag him in. That's it, he's in. Right, so we've got the four sheep in there. Excellent. So if we want to change the, the colour of the, the wall, we can easily open the trap door and just literally change the colour of the wall. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna put in the dispensers a single shear. You could leave this how it is, make it look pretty, and the farm will work as it is. But for me, I just want to make it, I want to make it my life a bit more easier. So I'm going to put hoppers above the dispensers here. Yeah. Bob's going to get the hopper. Might be worth clearing, clearing out the inventory, that's it. Clear out the inventory, grab the hopper. Yeah. And this is more, will take up a lot more resources, unfortunately, but it will mean that it's a lot more quicker, less more autom automated rather than manual intervention. So we're going to put a block up there, we're then going to put a, from that block backwards. We're going to place the hoppers. Now this, what this does is allows items to flow along that, that line of hoppers and into the dispenser, sorry, into the, yeah, the dispensers through a second hopper. Right, what we can do now? So what we're going to do now is we need to know if something is in that second lower level of hoppers. And the best way to do that is by using a comparator. So, oh, you've got the wrong level, that's it, come on, okay. You need to go one up, that's it, one up. And then you've got to work out where, well, from there, where the disposers are, the, the hopper is. So go up one, that's it. So we know the dispenser, there's a dispenser. There, 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 and there. So from that, yeah. Now you want to place down the comparator, Bob. Let's have a comparator. That's it. So you grab your comparators, place it down. Okay. So it's that second block behind. Okay, so that comparator will now detect if there is an item in that uh, hopper that goes into the dispenser. Right, so what you think we're looking at now. So we need to put another... But the thing is, at the moment, what we've got is that uh, the comparators are off. We want to basically bring them all together so that yeah, we'll bring them all together so we can actually use it to lock the hopper. Now, I won't go into too much detail because we'll go through it in a minute. So, what he's done is put some blocks up there and we're going to invert the signal on the comparator by placing a redstone torch on the back. That's it, okay, yeah. 
Don't die. So we've got the redstone. So we're going to place this redstone torch in front of the comparator. And what that does is, at the moment, that comparator signal is low, but yet the redstone torch signal is high. This is what done. This block will invert the signal. But when the comparator is on, that redstone torch will be turned off. That's perfect. So what we're going to do now? Put a torch above each of the redstone torches. That's it. And then on top of those blocks, we will, we will want to put redstone dust. Right, okay, so we need to put the... What are you doing there, Bob? Ah, right, we need a redstone torch at the back of here, which then inverts that signal, the overall signal of those, all the comparators. Again, which, yeah, which is what we need. So, so you in a second. There you go, dude, Bob. You can get the redstone dust, that's it. So, yeah, what we're going to do is now join all those torches up as one signal. So if one is on, it will activate the locking system to the locker. So at the moment, yeah, it, because one of the comparators is on, oh sorry, the comparators, sorry, one, because all the comparators are off at the moment, the signal out is high. But because it's going through that redstone inverter block, it, the signal is going to be low. So we're inverting it twice. Let's see a second, right, so we place a pit, sticky piston down here, and we're going to use a redstone block and what happens is that when the redstone signal is high it will... what are you doing Bob? Yeah, so what, what the, how this works is we're taking that signal off of the redstone torch and into the piston when the signal is high the piston is activated and it pushes the redstone block into the gap and then we'll lock the hopper which will stop any of the items going through uh, onto the, the rest of the hopper. So what we're going to stick some, it's going to put a double chest uh, here. We do it the other side Bob. Oh, it looks like it's, uh, yeah, there and there. That's it. And we can then put Access up to that area. It's probably yeah. We, we want to see down with the, the the build, not the redstone build. Come on, Bob. No, not that. Do it from the front. The front is going to be that's it. That's it. That's where we want it. Not the side. The front. So it's putting these stairs in so we can actually walk up to the uh, to access the, the chest. There we go. So if we fill these ch uh, the chest with these um, shears, so that's all we need. Grab the shears, set by shift and click it again. Empty the shears into the inventory, stick them in there, do it again, shift click, and there it goes. Do you want to grab some more? Should be able to get from there, there we go. Fill it all up. As you can see at the moment, as the shears go through the hopper system, it fills up the dispenser. And as soon as the comparator, there we go, detects that there's shears in the hopper, the piston is activated, and this then stops the shears from going into the rest of the hoppers. So if we have a look down here. You get to access to one of the, hop the hoppers. Yeah, you can get access to the hoppers up here, that's it. So if you, you see there's two, that's why that one's on. This one's got four or five. That's five as well, and that'll be the same as well. So as soon as one of these hoppers is completely empty, what'll happen is that the piston will be moved back, and then the shears will then be released from the chest into the hopper that it requires the shears. And that's that's that.
that is effectively the full design. So what we're going to do is leave Bob to do his thing and um, yeah, he's going to make this build look smart. So that's it, so that's the design. Bob has finished. This is turn that um, farm into something that you may actually want to see in your base. Okay, there's one thing that we want to point out. What you can actually do is to turn off the dispenser. So if we grab a lever, with the dispensers off, we can change the colour of our sheep's wool using dye. So what we're going to use is... Can we use blue? No. Green? Not that green, that's a horrible green, Bob. We place it to light green, the lime green. Lime green. That's it, grab the lime green, there we go. So what we're going to do now is add, I'll show you where, how to add the lever to the actual dispenser in this design. So Bob, we go around the back, that's it. And what we've done is actually created access up the stairs in between this, this redstone circuit. And on the dispenser, shift and click and add the lever. So you can actually access all of them, turn them on, and what it does is it turns the dispenser actually on, not off, and locks the dispenser from being updated. So as the grass grows and the sheep eats it, when it uh, the observer still works, but it does not fire the dispenser, that's shearing the sheep. So again, what we need to do now is wait until the sheep grow their woolly coats again, and we will be back when that is done. Okay, so we waited, we managed to get all uh, get three other sheep woolly coats on, um, but one of them was a bit stubborn. Uh, we tried replacing the grass, the bottom, all with grass blocks as well, um, but we were unsuccessful. So what Bob's going to do now is just work with what we've got, and we're going to open up the trap door, pick a sheep, any sheep, that one will do, and then press, click on the sheep, and that will then change the wall colour to the dye that you have in your hand. So that's now orange, now we're going to go change that to paper, purple, and as you can see that sheep there is stubborn and he doesn't want, he doesn't want to be, he's obviously nice and warm anyway. So with that there, so what this will do now is, we're going to turn the, the, the dispensers on again. And that is pretty much it. That's how it works. Okay, so let's have a quick look to see um, what we've got in the chest. This is the result of two hours worth of waiting around currently with four, only four sheep. It's not too bad, but this is, let's just have a quick tour before we go. This is a quick tour of the build itself. And obviously you can change it to however you want to improve the outside to, to meet the style of your base. There we go. So we just pop up up here, have a look at this. Is what you can do with the you know, you can again change this area to suit, um, give yourself up, upstairs a storage, um, and that's quite yeah quite a nice little area too. And then this is the underneath storage as well. You could put storage in here, and again that's where the sheep are. So that sadly brings us to the end of another episode. I hope you've liked this tutorial and you'll go on to use it. Uh, I have certainly used this one in my base before and it has provided me with more than enough wool um, to meet my demands. It has also allowed me to fill the chest up with shears, and walk away from it and for it to work in the background whilst AFKing. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you've liked this video, I'll be very grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and leave a like as well. This will help me to know that I'm producing the right material for the audience. Ring that bell so that you will be notified every time I release a new video. So that's it from me, Fizzing Bob. Take care and goodbye.